we're back. It's Amber and Joe. Wait, wait. Surprise. You're not Joe. <laughs> <laughs> the man that needs no introduction. It's Hedgy Bartol again. Unfortunately. I, I say that and then I introduce you. Is that weird? <laughs> well, you know, it, it, it makes sense. It's, it's redu <laughs> redundant and repetitive. <laughs> it makes sense with uh, how we're running this thing so far. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. It dovetails right into our routine. <laughs> but um bump. Yeah, thank so, you. So um, I know you had a ton of traffic at the Axis booth. We actually have, yes. Yes. So what, what do you attribute that to? Uh, well, besides the fact that, uh, you know, we're promoted by the D&D &D Daily, uh, we plug, also, plug. and yeah, exactly, <laughs> uh, we're also taking part in the uh, selfie contest you guys are having as well, but from a, you know, a uh, much uh, higher level. Actually, this year at the show, Axis has revealed the selfie camera. Believe it or not, yes, we have a selfie camera. Uh, our cameras are intelligent. They have the ability to run apps on board, just like your smartphone. And so we actually have a camera set up that you scan a QR code, and then you can see the feed from our camera, as if you were trying on some clothes, you want to send it to your friends, hey, do these jeans make my butt look okay? Things like that. Well, it's kind of uh, hard to... No. No, not at all. It's kind of hard to take a picture like this. So That's you can true. actually, you see the stream from the camera. Although Hedgy has perfected it. But he won't I have. Tell, he won't you know, tell you the, that. It's the contortionist thing. <laughs> Um, that's, but it, that's from your ballet days. Absolutely. I knew that would come up again. All we had to do was just dig a little deeper, and I knew it would come up I again. I knew you'd find I a way. I knew I would find a way. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I don't wear tights anymore. Hey, uh, I do fight crime, <laughs> not superhero. Not that we know of. That's right. Well, not in public. Right. Uh, but so with the selfie camera, once you take that picture, it actually will overlay the, the logo of the store you might be at. And then when you share it, you can hashtag the selfie. That's cool. Ha what is the D&D &D selfie hashtag? What's yeah. So you can do that. You could, the store can follow it on, on uh, social media and see what's trending. So it's just That's a neat little cool. application that kind of gives a wow factor to the retailers. Yeah. And it's kind of cool for the, the kids today. These kids today and their I selfies. I take, I take some <laughs> selfies myself. But, okay, yeah. so is it intelligent enough to delete the bad decision selfies? <laughs> no, I mean, uh, we, we can't do anything with subject matter. Let's get real with the audience out there. We've all had a few bad decision selfies, right? Right. I mean, you've had a couple cocktails. Uh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you maybe shouldn't be. We're taking a selfie. Joe's taking a selfie of himself. He's going to tweet it. So, you know, <laughs> at LaRocca J. <laughs> Follow Don't him. Don't eat your pizza. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I've never made any bad decisions, no. Oh, not that's good. That's good, yeah. So the question was, though, <laughs> to get to the core of it, you technology people talk around the question, right? Not you. No. I'm just saying in general. Um, so does it not, it doesn't delete the bad decision selfies? Uh, no, it can't, okay. can't do anything it with subject go, matter. yikes, think that over. Uh, you know, somebody should come up with an app that does after like a certain, like a five o'clock in the evening, yeah. that uh, will delay any social media posting or text messages. I think it's Snapchat. Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, she delay it so it doesn't even go out. And the next morning, <laughs> next morning says, are you sure you want to send this? Oh, that's good. I need to have that when I'm shopping on Amazon at two in the morning. Are you yeah. sure you want to buy all this stuff? Yeah, exactly. That's what Q I need. QVC. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See? See? Does QVC have an app? Do you I know? know? I don't know. Yeah. Joe, Joe's saying they do. He's off camera, but he wants to be in the conversation. <laughs> That's <laughs> for killing sure. Him. Killing, him. killing him. It's killing him. Okay. It feels like he's uh, got a little less job security yeah. than usual. <laughs> oh! That's right. Hedgie's bone up on Joe. <laughs> if you want to uh, get into that conversation, Ow, stop, Joe. It's, it's at Papa J. Papa uh, Mama J. Papa B. Papa 1969. something. Yeah. <laughs> What's the significance of the year? It's when I was born. Oh, yeah? We didn't feel it was appropriate with the uh, teenage followers to be Papa B. 69. Yes, true. I don't, I don't know that joke. I really don't Just, know what you're talking about. You know. Let's look at the schedule, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Coming up after that action pack. Nice segue. Uh, in our uh, protect update. Uh, <laughs> delivering LP in a franchise world. I'm excited about that. Mostly to move on. It, well, actually, honestly, franchises it's are... It's a big deal. It's a, dif it's a difficult uh, uh, you know, organization to approach from a vendor standpoint because... Yeah, that too. Like, uh, you know, any typical franchise, you're, you're not dealing with one business owner or one corporate office. You're dealing with, you know, 4,000 potentially yeah. different business owners. So How do you standardize those solutions to truly have an impact on the franchise side, right? Absolutely, and bring them benefit at the same time, uh, you, you know, while, while still protecting your brand and, and so right. forth. It, it's, right. a, it's a challenge. Yeah, it's a interesting community to support. I already talked to Dave Johnston, so. Yeah, I think I screwed up his name before. So we're going to get it straight with who we're talking to when we send it back to Gus. Van Carney with Domino's. Yes. And David Johnston, who I know. And sorry, I think I messed up his name. There's, there's a Johnston and a Johnston. 
And uh, you say it fast enough, nobody knows. Yeah, good. Doesn't. So I called it out. But at least we're getting the wrap it up sign. Sometimes it's a wonderful sign to get. We're going to throw it on over to Gus. <laughs>